Hello and welcome to Firefighting in Canada This Week. It's Friday, February 10, 2017. Today's edition is brought to you by VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. I'm Tamara Teek and here are the top stories. Firefighters in Barrie, Ontario are the first in the province to carry the opioid-reversing drug naloxone. Firefighters in Brantford, Ontario fought a stubborn blaze at an industrial building over the weekend. And Fire Chief Len Garris explains why some departments are switching back to traditional white shirts for senior officers. Firefighters in Barrie have been trained to administer the life-saving drug naloxone. Barry Fire and Emergency Services Chief Bill Boyce says firefighters are already attending calls for opioid overdoses, so there will be no increase in medical responses, just better outcomes. Just prior to going live with it, we had a couple um, incidents where we could have used it had we uh, had it in our possession, but uh, since we started on February 1st, we have not used it to this date. The positive part is that we are ready if it is required, and you know I think it will definitely um, improve public safety and our responder safety as well if we do have to use it, and I'm sure given the societal uh, issues that are going on right now with, with the opioids that we will have to use it in the near future. In 2014, one of eight deaths in Ontario among people 25 to 34 was related to opioids. Firefighters in several British Columbia municipalities and in Winnipeg carry naloxone in response to the growing opioid use problem. Alberta Health Services announced this week that injectable kits and training will be provided for free to first responders in that province. Firefighters in Brantford used sand to extinguish a blaze at an industrial building that contained chemicals. The building is owned by Mississauga Metals and Alloys, which makes recycled metals for nuclear and aerospace companies. The four-alarm fire started last Friday afternoon and firefighters were still dealing with smoldering metal on Tuesday. The building was not on fire initially, just the molten metal inside. Crews were unable to enter the building and investigators have been unable to enter the site because the building is unstable. In the February issue of Firefighting in Canada, Surrey Fire Chief Len Garris writes about a study that shows white shirts are preferable to darker attire for chief officers. Garris says white shirts are more easily recognizable at an incident. And the main difference is that a dark shirt is a work shirt and it's, it's, it's referenced as a worker. And a white shirt is, is more uh, referenced towards business and leadership. And those are really the two distinctions, the main distinctions within the, uh, within the research. And we don't take uh, a position on whether it should be a dark or a light shirt, but certainly uh, this research sort of gives you some insight into uh, the consequences or the potential consequences of making that choice. You can read this story at firefightingincanada.com. That's our show for now from Annex Business Media's Niche TV Newsroom. Thank you to our sponsor, VFIS. On behalf of all of us here at Niche TV, thanks for watching.